This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by NHLiberty.org. NHLiberty.org. Attack over the years, but uh, I certainly uh, support somebody's rights to not pay them. I think they're coercive. I think they're immoral, uh, especially at the level to which we're taxed these days. It's over 50% of our income if you add up all the taxes, state, local, national, and other things. And I got a good I concept think. for you. We're listening. Why don't you pay Ed Brown's taxes and then they can set them free instead of having all of us pay for them? It is said that authorities can almost always figure out a way to turn two people against each other. Not just people like these two strangers debating a Fed crackdown. They can also turn families inside out. There's nothing quite like a federal grand jury to put your marriage in the dirt nap. Presumably, they can do it on a larger scale as well, with movements and even civilizations. So, sometimes I get a little concerned when I see the close social bonds developing within the liberty movement in New Hampshire. They're not a bad thing, but they're like the internet, a good thing which we are becoming overly dependent on. In 1968, the Czechoslovakians peaceably disobeyed Soviet authority in what was called the Prague Spring. It filled the streets. In retaliation, Moscow invaded and shut down the limited freedoms that were beginning to blossom in the little Soviet-dominated nation. Eventually, we're going to have our Prague Spring, too, in New Hampshire. At the local and state level, a flowering of freedom is now a question of when not if. What is in question, though, is how Washington will react. How will it impose its Brezhnev doctrine? Will its response blunt our efforts, or will it backfire? Whatever else they do, one thing they are almost certain to try is this traditional tactic of dividing people. Husband against wife, father against daughter, client against business. They will do it, and it will be devastating. But so was the Amristar massacre against Gandhi supporters. So was the bombing of North Vietnam. So was the systematic East German practice of using spouses to spy on their lawfully wedded. These things didn't bring victory to empires. They helped bring them to ruin. If a government entity forces someone close to you to provide evidence against you, on penalty of months in a gulag, he may succumb. Heck, by the time this tyranny thing really gets going, the government may be torturing information out of Americans. They may be doing it already. Those who relent to either tactic are only guilty of being human. The government is guilty of orchestrating, and questionable tactics by the authorities can be turned against the authorities. You've got to document them. You've got to make sure the largest number of people see it happening or hear of it. Other thoughts. Don't go sour on the liberty movement, even if its social bonds break. If the government Grinch turns your friend, continue singing to the end. Just make sure your singing sounds better than this. Maybe it's appropriate to inform the public when people go turncoat and who has done so. It's just important to blame the person, if they even deserve blame, and their tormentors. Don't blame the movement. Don't go inactive. Get more active. What else can we do to immunize ourselves a bit from this phenomenon? Well, one thought. Just factor it in. Plan on it in advance. Be psychologically prepared. The reality is there will be a crackdown, and not everyone's going to handle it well. Some, it seems, will surely turn, but for liberty we must always burn. And speaking of the inevitable crackdown, factor in the reality there's going to be one. No way to know how inclusive or brutal it will be, but it's the only card authorities have to play. the Riveter. Sort of. You may remember me from nhfree.com. But now I spend most of my time on the new political forum at 
nhliberty.org. nhliberty.org. It's a place where all peaceful discussion is welcome. nhliberty.org. Is the fastest growing political forum in New Hampshire. nhliberty.org. Has lots of nice people. NH Liberty is where you want to be. NHLiberty.org